Oh, what time is it? Uh, about five o'clock. What? Five o'clock. I've only just woke up. No, I've already been ran once today. Seriously? Oh, yeah. well, good morning. Oh, the haircut? Yeah. Nice and fresh. What are you doing today then? Baking. And what else? Gardening. Bit of gardening. Yeah. Sounds lovely. I'll save you a cake. Oh, thank you. Now, I haven't been for a food shop in the house properly because I thought I was going to Canada this weekend. Let's just randomly say, one of these sheep over here makes its way into my garden. And let's just say one of these sheep here make onto my firing range. Also known as a barbecue, don't know why I just called it a firing range? Isn't that, sh isn't that for shooting? But I've been staring at them lamb out of that window for the past 20 minutes, stood up there at the, do you know what that's called? It's called a Juliet balcony. Because it's not actually a balcony, it's just like a fake balcony. It's called a Juliet balcony. I've been stood on a Juliet balcony, staring at them. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're cooking dinner. And your boy is going to make a la carta lamb chopza. <laughs> he, he says, he says that, but I did also just message Sam. Stay still. I did also just message Sam asking him if he fancies ramen. Because I know when we went out for Yo Sushi last week, um, he absolutely loved that. And he said he'd never tried ramen, so... Um, if I can convince him, it's a, a Saturday and he's probably got plans and he's probably, excuse me, I've got hiccups, and he's probably going out drinking and stuff because Sam, if you don't know, he's a heavy big lad drinker. Uh, I probably said that in the wrong way around to make it sound rude, which was not the point. Sam's a big lad and he's a heavy drinker. So, um, he's probably going out tonight getting absolutely drunk. So if he hasn't lined his stomach, a ramen would be a really good idea. I think, unless it just make you throw up because it's just liquid. But uh, yeah, I've messaged Sam and see, seen if he's fancied it. If he doesn't get back to us, then we're going to the shops. And ladies and gentlemen, we are cooking ourselves llama a la chava. What else with it? I, I don't know, should I try and cook potatoes? Oh, I don't like potatoes. Just sat having my cereal relaxing. And the one and only Jaws, my homie from uh, EDC, who uh, <laughs> we went and spent a day in the life with, just messaged me being like, Tom, what are you doing? I was like, just chilling outside in the sun, mate, relaxing. What are you doing next Friday? Nothing, why? Fancy cream fields. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see what happens. Do you guys remember when I, I uh, went to Scotland and unfortunately broke my medical chain? If you don't know what this is for, it's in case a bit... Why is it not coming? Oh. <laughs> uh, broke this and the whole point of me having a medical chain, if you're like, Tom, what's your problem? Well, basically, I'm allergic to wasps and bees. And I am supposed to carry around an EpiPen, which is like a little device that say, if I get stung by a wasp, I'm supposed to like take the lid off it, prime it, and then stick it, oh God, that went everywhere, stick it into the side of my leg. And it puts adrenaline in my body to make my heart beat faster. Now it's not big and it's not clever for me to not always carry one. It's just that I always forget it and you know, can't fit it in my pockets or I'm just lazy and forgetful. Uh, so instead I decided to be a little bit proactive about it. And in case I get stung by a wasp or a bee and say I'm drunk or I'm just an idiot or something like that and I start dying in a corner, if someone comes over to me and finds me unable to breathe, if they ring this number on here, it'll tell them exactly what's wrong with me and how to fix me. AKA just get me the hell to a hospital. So if I ever see you in life and I'm dying having an anaphylactic shock from a wasp, uh, do me a favour, just get me to the hospital and tell them I got stung by a wasp or a bee. We should be A-OK. -okay. Worst comes to the worst, I think the thing, like if the adrenaline doesn't work, they have to put a tube down my throat and then I have to breathe through that. So yeah, there we go. Bit of a long chain, but shout out to Ken, the homie Mafaja. My, my, my Shfaja. Um, he had a spare chain and he hooked me up with it. So father, thank you. Right, six o'clock. It is right now. The vlog should be uploading with Orion, so we should be sorted. And I'm kind of rushing against time to get over to where Cal plays cricket, cause I want to just go watch him play a little bit of cricket, cause since the entire season, even though it's come to, I think, the final of the season, I've not watched a single game. And I sponsor the club. It's just that, as you guys seen, I've been traveling like crazy. And then when I wasn't traveling, you know, that's when I came back and I had to spend some time with Lydia. So now that I have the freest time, uh, and I'm wasting it by getting out of bed at a stupid o'clock, uh, we're going to try and go over and see what? This shit is not starting again. Defender, you're the worst tractor in the world. If someone asked me, should you buy a Land Rover Defender? The answer's no. Right, let's get going, because I think the game will be ending soon, but let's go and show them some support. Anyway, you can't make it up. I thought Carl was playing at Tin Twistle Cricket Club. This cricket club, it turns out he's not playing here. He's playing in Hazel Grove, probably 
30 minutes in the opposite direction from where I've just drove. Well, after that amazing fail, uh, I'm going to get myself some food and cook myself some dinner. And we are going to go with some lamb's chops, nicely seasoned. I just don't know what sides to put with them. Sweet potato... Nah. I was going to say, should I try and make sweet potato fries, but... I don't know how that'd go. I, I really don't want potatoes or chips, but triple cooked cook chips sound like a good idea. All right, we're on to something here. I got the chips, I got cauliflower cheese and lamb chops. I need some milk, which is in the opposite direction. I could really do with something green, you know, a little bit healthy, but... Uh, uh, I don't know what. Sorted, tender stem and mixed vegetables. Yeah, why not? Well, look where I'm back again. Kind of random, but I, I I only come up here, by the way, because back there is one of the steepest roads, if not the steepest road in the area. Now, a normal car can't really get up it. But good old Betsy here, I don't know why I'm calling her Betsy, she can get up it with absolute ease. So every route when I'm driving in this car, that is like some sort of an off-road struggle. I always take it like, I've, I, you didn't see it in the vlog, I need to put GoPro in here permanently. Because uh, like I just always take off little dirt trails here and there. Nothing like proper off roading but it's just fun and rugged and I like it. Uh, probably why I keep breaking it to be honest. But uh, hey, that's what it's for. But yeah, I've just come up here because of that to upload my vlog, get it live, and just look at it. Absolutely stunning. I know we were here, I think, in yesterday's vlog, but it's just so nice. Oh, forgot about my milk. Right, gotta get it home, otherwise it's gonna go uh, warm. Mm. What's the date today? Hey, it's not even the 18th of August. Hi, by the way, Carl. Mate, how bad do they smell? What is that? That's not re- Is that got- Is it gone off? That's had well off, mate. That, that's had a hole or something in the pocket. That is bad. What on earth? That is hanging. It, obviously, on the camera, you can't smell it. It smells like- <laughs> <coughs> Do That is hanging. That is absolutely hanging. Where have you bought it from? Tesco. Tax? Yeah. Oh Bro. My dinner's ruined! My dinner's ru- I drove all the way to Tesco! It smells like turd. I've never smelt meat like that in my life. <laughs> Get out of my house, you bogus- you bogus <laughs> lamb chop! <laughs> you bogus! <laughs> Tesco, what the hell is going on? What? <sighs> like, I'm sorry, is there, is there any food specialists around here who can explain what the hell's going on? That is rank. That is absolutely. <laughs> oh, I've I've never. I'm not joking. Oh, I've never gagged so badly at anything. Not even like the ghost chili pepper I ate. <laughs> Holy sh! That was bad. My house better not smell now. Oh. Well, Carl, for dinner I'm having cauliflower cheese. Mmm, cauliflower cheese and uh, triple cooked chips. What's studge? Studgy, bloaty food. Kind of fit. That's what I. Oh, I. Heads to me. Vegetables. Wow. What do you mean? What? Mate, they're tender stem. So you're having vegetables, cauliflower cheese, and chips. Yeah, I don't really want the chips. Bro. Yeah. That sounds like a terrible meal. It is a terrible meal. <laughs> Well, yeah, I was supposed to have lamb chops as well, but I don't have any now. Right, plan of action, okay? If the, if the optic guys and... Nah, they won't be doing because it's COD Champs, so I can't see the optic and 100 Thieves guys jumping on recording today. I've recorded enough episodes the past few days. Me, got about <laughs> episodes. Spoiler. Spoiler. All right. All right, cut it. Don't, don't say how many episodes I've got. All right, so because I've got some episodes recorded, I'm going to... Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. We're going to go down to Manchester for ramen, yeah? Ryan, so when I said the number of episodes that Tom has done, yeah. I need to cover it with like a no, no, a squawk, <laughs> like a bird, and, and have a bird, but, fly but not past to, not to a bird fly yeah, past. Do the noise and the bird flies. <laughs> past. Okay, sure. No, you cancelled. Cancel culture. Nope. I'll have you tomorrow, but I'm sure it won't go off. Will it? It's now kind of pre -war pre warmed with holes in it. Will it be okay? <laughs> I will be sure. Right, you. Dad's going out tonight. Okay. I'm not going to get too drunk, okay? I'm going to go get ramen, okay? Then I might go to All Star Lane's Bowl and have a few cocktails, all right? So I'll see you when I'm home. I'll just go ahead and give him some food first. One, two, three. Thank you. Enjoy, Stephen. I'll see you when I get home. 
We are going to Manchester. I truly did not know how many people were going to be happy about me getting an haircut. How fresh do you look? I like it. I like it. I just think it's going to grow out dead quick. My hair goes like that. I get my cut every 10 days. 10 days? Mm. Mate. 10 days. I don't think I can make that happen, but I've had my pants right down with my food situation. Me lamb chops, <laughs> gone off. <laughs> me, me, me other food that I was saving for the next day. Yeah, I left it in the oven with the oven off, but it was still hot, cooked away and just ruined it. So I've had to throw that away. So now we're going to get in taxi. I'm going to smash them at bowling. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. And we have made it to Manchester. Gum, 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 gum. Oh, Manchester is wonderful. It's full of tits. Fanny and City. Oh, okay. Oh, Manchester <laughs> is wonderful. And then they go, oh, Liverpool is full of sh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right then, there you go. Welcome to Manchester. Oh God, take no. This is Piccadilly Gardens. Well, uh oh, oh, is that a queue coming out the door? Oh, Carl, I think it's busy. That actually, that actually looks like a queue coming out the door. Bloody hell, we smelling weed or crack? Mate. I didn't expect a queue. Damn it. Should have known better. Should have known better. 20 minute wait. That's not too bad. There's an alchemist around the corner. We'll get a cocktail. Beautiful. Mate, why is everywhere so busy? All we want is a drink. Drink at the drink at the bar, that's all we need. Hey, cheers. Hey, good, good times, good vibes. Good time. Best friends. Tobogus Gasman. <laughs> why did we choose coming down to Manchester on a set well? I chose to come down to Manchester on a Saturday and he just came with me. Mate, there's so... I wonder which one's the bride. Hmm. Why are the rest wearing in black like a funeral? What the heck? <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Yep, perfect. Welcome to... This is no Tatsu Ramen, but welcome to food heaven. Ha, 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 ha. Tonk... Oh, we they didn't smack the drums when we walked in. We've been robbed. Oh, no, no, it's when someone enters. They, they bang when someone enters. We didn't get that. God damn it. All right, we're having this. <laughs> we walked in, we were like, just to let you know, there's a special. It's, it's, whis mate, it's whiskey and water, that, that's all that is. We went, we got a special on this certain drink for nine pound, two of them for nine pound. I went, yeah, we'll take two. I will get one free. If I get one free, why not? Tried it, it's literally just loads of whiskey with a little bit of water and an ice cube in it. Mate, why do I want uh. okay. Are you gonna see it off? See it off, pal. We like to drink with Carl, cause Carl is our mate. Bloody hell! The dedic hard work! <laughs> Dedication, hard work! You didn't even see it off, mate, there's still some left. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, round two go. <laughs> round two fight. You you you, <laughs> you sound how I looked when I was looking at them uh, lamb chops. What do you say? What's that? that, that ball? That's the octopus balls. Taco garage. Do you know what? I might just go to Japan. Maybe. I think once I finish recording this series, I'm going to Japan. I just love Japan. So I'm going to go with salt and pepper chicken wings. You just have to. We're going to go for two barbecue pork buns. Beautiful. And then maybe some of this deep fried octopus balls. But that, it might not look like a lot. But it is. I'm not sure what's going on right now, but Carl is trying to play rock, paper, scissors, and the loser has to eat a garlic clove. No. Do it. No. Do it, rock, paper, scissors, let's go. No. Right, fine. But I'm not doing it, you ready? Alright, I'll tell you what. You ready? I know I'm losing. I know I'm gonna lose. This is a clove, look. You ready? Wait, are you doing one, two, three, shoot? Yeah. You ready? Rock, one, two, paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. I'm not doing it. I already, I already said I'm not doing it. I just said I'm not doing it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. All right, all right, eat it hard. Eat now. No way. Eat hard. How about, I'll pay for dinner if you eat it. Are you okay? <laughs> Mate, your breath's gonna stink. Not worse than your mom. Uh, no! <laughs> All right, well, you enjoy your garlic-infused... <laughs> Make your 
it's gonna burn tonight. Hanging. All right, so we've gone for a uh, pork bun. Nom, 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 nom. Can't go wrong with a bit of bun. Ready? Mmm. 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 <laughs> That's good. Salt and pepper chicken wings, and then octopus balls, which does not look like what it looks like on the menu. So I think we got the wrong thing. Um, but yeah. That looks really fried. It doesn't taste like salt and pepper. It tastes like a flavourless chicken wing. That octopus is well nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, that's well, that terrible. Shouldn't even be on the menu. That is incredible. Let's touch ladles. Cheers. You know what they say? <laughs> what? Those cross ladles. Wait, what? <laughs> Never heard of that before. <laughs> all right, look at this. Okay, first of all, we need to do an operation on this. I need to get rid of all this vegetable. Is it good? So flavorful. Yes! That right. is so flavorful. Okay, come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Wow, I did a pretty good job there. All right, get rid of the liquid. Dump the flip that out. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna go for a taste test. Flavorful. It's not thick like Tatsu ramen. It's very garlicky. That's pretty good. Hey man, I'm not trying to be a hater. Good. Oh, he, he loves it. I'm gonna be a hater real quick. That is the thinnest meat I've ever seen in a ramen in my life. Usually, it's like a big thick piece. That's like a ready meal slice. God damn. I threw the towel in. And are you ready? to the reveal how much I didn't eat. That's a that's a poor effort from me. You nailed it. Look, Couldn't do it. Dude, Look, there's mate, holes. there's so much of mine. Like, that's embarrassing, that. That is actually embarrassing. Go on, lad. The, what are the chances? So we bumped into a family, right, who I, I, who like recognized me, because I heard syndicate, I was like, it like pricks me in, so I'm like, what, what's going on? Absolutely lovely, speaking to them. They're from Liverpool, and because it was the son's, I think he said his birthday, they came all the way to Manchester from Liverpool just to go to Shuri Ramen because they don't have it in Liverpool, which is like mental. Because I was just talking to the waitress about how that one time I flew out to New York just to get Tatsu. That, that's crazy. The kid, uh, whose birthday it was, he gave it a nine out of 10. What would you give it? I, th I think, I don't know, I it's reckon, mediocre. I, 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 reckon I reckon an eight. I reckon eight. I was just about to say an eight. Because the chicken wings were flavorless. Yeah, oh, the but chicken wings. The bun was good. The bun was heaven. That was like a 9.9. The, the nine. balls were good. Yeah, they were nice. The octopus and then, balls. And the ramen was very flavorful. Mm. Even though the meat was waffer thin. Oh, yeah. Waffer thin. It was very flavorful. Like a microwaveable meal. The broth eight. itself was very nice. No, eight, eight out of ten. Yeah, an eight. Boom. Loving it. The... the this is a bit weird now. You know, I was just talking about them, that family coming all the way from Liverpool just to eat ramen. We were walking back where we just had a drink earlier, and where we were walking past, this guy's walking past me, and I was like, I'm sure I recognise that guy. So I went, Tom, he didn't reply. I looked back, and I was like, I'm sure that's him, because I've got bad eyesight. So I went, Tom, and he turned around. This is a guy that I went to school with and got the same school bus every single day with for like, for like five years, because he was the year above me. We weren't close, but we knew each other and we were like, you know, like knew, we knew of each other. But I last bumped into him when I happened to be randomly in Florida, in Orlando. And think of how many people go to Disneyland, Florida. I went there and just happened to bump into him, like walking past a huge crowd. I could have gone left or right and missed him. And we could have just gone left or right down any street then to get to where we're going now. And I just happened to bump into him again. The world works in the most mysterious ways, man. It's well creepy. Not sure what's going in there, but Harry Potter's doing Harry Potter's doing some wizard shit up there. What is happening? No! We have to wait an hour. If we want a lane, we have to wait an hour. Mm. Mm. This right here is the best drink in all of Manchester. Straight facts. Also, car's starting to feel it right now. <laughs> wait, will the magic trick work? No! The magic trick didn't work! It's alright, nice one. Wait, how nice is that? That is my favourite cocktail in all of Manchester. I really finished it. Hey, it's just that sugar in it. They've got paramedics here, so in case you're... If you're absolutely off your nut on drugs and 
do need to be cured. They'll you go can... in there, they'll take the drug off you so they know exactly what it is that they're treating for. Really? Yeah. Whoa. So yeah, what, rather than wasting time going on to like a hospital or something or an ambulance, that's there ready. A treatment centre? I've never seen that. Is that all? Oh, mate. Uh, we got an hour to kill. Should we just go to the treatment centre? <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> just to clarify, I don't do drugs. It was a joke. Uh, I reckon that'll fly by me, that. This is, this is content right now. Come on. Oh, the driver's getting my oh, hey, oh. Oh, someone else is rolling up now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't be a, 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 allegedly. Watch him smash a window. Go on. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? We just came for like 10 minutes to get in. He, 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 got, he got straight to the front. Carl, at least I'm wearing dark shoes. I would have got in. No, they're in trainers. <laughs> They'll get in. You're fine. We're, we're not being denied. No way. If it, hey. If you can't get in there, we're not going to get if in anywhere. If in doubt. <laughs> what? If in doubt. Irish, Irish bar. bar. <laughs> so, honestly, he's, there's no way he's going to get in anywhere wearing trainers. He's fresh. Mate, he, when you're wearing black shoes, he just can't see if you've got laces or stripes on the side of you. Why does it matter? If you're going to like a fancy, fancy night out. Trainers. No, if you're going to a fancy night out, I can understand it. But if you're just going into a place where no one's looking at feet, you know what I mean? Well, who's looking at feet? No one. Oh, yep. Where's it kicking off? Hey, yep. What's going on? Is someone on the floor? What the f is going on here? I was at the bar, I ordered two Jager bombs, she went, it's cheaper to get three. I was like, yeah, sure. I ordered three, this guy next to me went, here you go, mate, you can have that third one, I don't want it. All right, then, the person put out the card machine in front of me, and I thought it was my round, so I contactlessly paid for it. I paid for his, this random guy's round, and he looks at me and went, what have you just done? I just went, I just bought you drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a free Jager bomb. There was 20p on the floor. We picked it up and we put 50p down. We're trying to see who picks it up. Someone's having it. Someone's definitely having that. It's too, it's too tempting. Whoa. Oh, I thought he was going for it. <laughs> Where's he gone? Hey! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> I'm loving it! What's this?
What a band! It was so booming! Loved it! 10 out of 10! Let's play Spot the Irish Bar. Mm. I wonder. Oh, I got a minute. Nah, nah, that can't be it. Surely not. That's just racist. Whoa, calm down, Tracy. Can you believe Phil? Oh, Phil got his mate. It all sorts of trouble. If it weren't for Phil, if Phil did do it, mate. If it weren't for Phil, it wasn't for it. If we don't know, mate, Phil. It was Phil. Blame Phil. Phil. It wasn't us. Ask Phil. We don't know. Phil. Doors me off. Doors shut. I Mate, so we don't know where know. Phil is. Oh, so, we, w we turned up outside another Irish bar called, what was it? Flanagan's. Flanagan's. Yeah. Closed. We, we can't get in anywhere with his shoes, so we have to go somewhere where it's like, they just, let, the they just let anything slide. Oh, why are we not going Northern Quarter? Cane and Green. Well, it's a bit late, isn't it? Right, we'll try 42's and go there. That's definitely an Uber. That is 42's. Oh my god, is that the queue? The best place in Manchester, Cane and Green. <laughs> this is why I love this place. Cane and Green, my favourite bar in all of Manchester. The music was terrible. It's our face. Have you had a good night? My best friend. My brother, 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 my uh, did we not have a great night? Oh, it's 10 past 3 in the morning. We for no, it's not. Bro, I've got gazelles on just <laughs> getting about in Manchester. Yeah, don't do that again, alright? Next time we go out oh, for drinks. These are fresh as f***ing that little Muppet on the door of us to give a kick. We queued back. up for like literally My 10 minutes. We watched someone kicking off with his, his girlfriend. The girlfriend was punching this guy around there. He tried to run away from her. We were like, whoa, like, like, puppet. we were like, Judy, puppet and Judy put it. What? Punch, Muppet and Judy. And Ju Punch, and Judy. Punch and Judy. We were like laughing, like Muppet commentating and it, and everyone in the queue was the loving it and laughing about it. Yeah, <laughs> she was. This this woman was Ooh. punching the guy in the face like that, and he just he just pulled out a cigarette out of his face and was like, <laughs> while she was punching her, and we were like laughing and joking, like we thought everything was good. We got to the front of the queue and we were like, no trainers. We were like, what? What? It's 15 minutes. You just say. No. We waited, no, no, we waited 10 minutes for him to go. 80 Mate, pound trainers. If you wore Yeezys that like some people pay like 350 quid for, he'd just turn around and go, no trainers. And what are you supposed to wear on a night out? No one cares. If I walked up wearing steel toe cap boots, they wouldn't even know or care. They wouldn't. And you could kick someone's head in. He's wearing zebras. No one cares. These are good trainers. Look in the chat, Lovely. in the comments now. Would you wear a pair of gazelles or what? I wouldn't. <laughs> Do what? <Stop>. Why, why, <laughs> why don't you stop? What the f You are a bogus gas man and you're my best friend. Good night, dude, yeah? Right, I'll see you later. Look up yourself. Cheers, Cheers taxi guy. <laughs> what a night. Yeah, I didn't appreciate having a nosebleed on the way home. Seriously. I, I'm like, nine years of doing YouTube, every time I have a nosebleed, everyone's like, oh, you're doing drugs. I'm like, no. I was. I just always have really big bogues at my nose and I try and get rid of them and then when I try and get rid of them I have a nosebleed. Yeah, well that was just awkward to talk about but hey, it is what it is. Hey! Um, nonetheless, uh, I'm now home. Yeah, home. Um, and as much as I'd like to go to bed because it's like 3 o'clock in the morning, Courage JD is currently live streaming Minecraft. Therefore, I have to live stream Minecraft. So I'm going to log on, kill him and uh, continue the hunting series. So let's do it. You've got to be joking. I just went to pull out the chicken tenders from the freezer. Look what just happened. Like bloody marbles. Oh my God, they're so frozen. <laughs> I just dropped the entire pack when I opened the door. I have one word to say about that, and that is shit. Um. So when I got in, 
I started making chicken tenders, you know, like the chicken tenders I love. I've been recording for an hour in this Minecraft series, and it's been, honest to God, like, that is the best episode I'll ever put out. I don't even know what number I'm up to now, but... Oh, dear. My house is smoking. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How has my fire alarm not gone off? <gasps> oh, sh... Oh, I can't open that. How has that not gone off? Guys, these have been in... Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> I put these in an hour ago. Knew it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I put them in an hour ago, ladies and gentlemen. An hour. Oh dear. I was so looking forward to them as well. I'm probably still going to eat them, but oh, oh god. Oh my god, what an idiot. Oh. <laughs> Wait. There's no chi- There's actually no chicken in them. I just recorded one of the best episodes of um, the hunting, like hunting out 200 thieves of my goddamn life. It was a. It was amazing, like such a good episode. And whilst I was about to fight, my um, my my alarm went off on my phone. I was like, that's a bit weird. So I just muted it, you know, carried on doing what I'm doing. And I was like, oh, it must have just been something to remind me to get go to bed or get out of bed or something like that. Didn't realise it was for the bloody chicken tenders. <sighs> We've done goofed here, kids. We've done absolute goofed. <sighs> They look so bad. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, there's no way there's still chicken in it. Only jo <laughs> Okay, first of all, that tastes like lava. <laughs> that tastes like lava, but more importantly... <laughs> Dusty lava. Do you see that right there? That is a syndicate, synd, 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 syndicate, <laughs> syndicate, original venture shirt, and you can get yours link in the description. But guys, it is a new dawn, it is a new day, so I'm gonna have to end this vlog. Just shout out to the haircut right now. Woke up like this, didn't even spike it, just, just randomly flopped out of bed and oh, 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 I'm ready. But guys, I'm gonna have to end today's vlog. What an absolutely amazing night. What an absolutely amazing recording session. And oh my God, I've actually got out of bed at a reasonable hour so I could start the day. Ooh. Could have set my alarm off then. But yeah, honestly, I had such a good night. Plus we cow, just a lad's night out. Loved it, booming. and just cannot wait to do that sort of thing again. We just boogied all night, good vibes. And just mint, you know, like I said to him, it was, you know, like when I'm out in America and I'm hanging out with Luke, we just bros, it's like my American best friend and we just, we go out, we get we get food together, we drink together, we hang out with friends, you know, we go and dance and all this. It's like, mate, we just have a really just good time with each other. And here in Manchester, it's like, if I was going to go out with Luke, we'd probably travel 30 minutes, 45 minutes to get to a bar or a restaurant to go and eat food and then have a night out. Whereas in here, it's like, oh, all the way to Manchester, it's so far. It's 20 minutes, we can just get an Uber. So I'm going to definitely do more of that more often. Like, just me, Carl, or like, you know, me or whoever, go into Manchester more often just as, you know, homies and just go and hang out. And it was just perfect. So a great night. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it was good content. Again, update on Orion's baby. The baby's not coming out yet. Right? The baby is still in there. It's like, I'm not coming out, you're a little shit. See, this is the door the baby needs to walk through. It's like this. I'm not doing it. You can piss off. So hopefully the baby pops out soon. Get out, Benjamin, you Or Sebastian. Seb Sebastian or Benjamin. I think we're going to call it Benjamin, to be honest. But yeah, the baby's not come out yet. So th there's your update. Uh, wishing Jess all the best. Uh, that is uh, Ryan's um, other partner who's having the baby. So I wish her all the best. I hope it all goes smoothly. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted as I know anything. And uh, as soon as he says the baby's popped out, um, I'm editing the vlog. So ooh, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to love you. Leave you. Make sure you leave a thumbs up button. Like, rate, rating. Click subscribe. Ding down that notification bell. And I'll see you tomorrow at 7pm for the next day of vlog. So until then, much love. Sadios.